As soon as I can disassemble this alternator from the bracket and the blades, I will ship it to my friend Tom. He lives in a rural area, I guess with a lot of wind anyway, so he can definitely take advantage of this wind turbine. So just for his information, this would be the positive and you can hook up your negative here. Any any part of the body really is a negative. The, alt, the uh, rectifier is inside so this outputs DC and you just have to make a, a body you know like a and the tail you can make it out of anything. I just use some metal straps, bent it to shape and put a piece of wood in the middle and then you hook up your wires and that's it. Outputs 12 volt. I'm not going to send him my blades because they're kind of experimental. I don't know how well it will stand up to the weather. So he can put up his own uh, blades. He can get more professional ones and higher speed ones. Hopefully he can take advantage of it and if it works, show us uh, how it is working. So that's the back. I'm not sure how many pounds this weight. Maybe 15 pounds. And actually if you were to use it as an alternator, you need a fan here to cool down the coils. So, well, I don't think, I don't think you need it. Not for me anyway, because I never that, get that kind of wind. Hopefully uh, it will work out for you. So the spacers on the shaft here has to be like this. You have this uh, nut here and you have a split ring here and then these are the two spacers and you have seven poles in here seven magnet poles and in between is the just a steel pole so that's how it looks like I'm not sure what gauge wires this is probably about 20 gauge wires So this is how this thing looks. I just disassembled the bracket. Okay, I think just make sure you tighten the nut when you have your hub on. That's the hub. Yeah, pretty heavy stuff. <laughs> 